I have like self-diagnosed ADD. Squirrel! I can't focus, right? And some of you have small kids at home. You have spouses that are also working from home and you really struggle to just get quiet peace and quiet. Now, some of you, you live alone or your kids are grown and gone and you have peace and quiet at home. So you can have a dedicated workspace, but I don't want to see you working at your kitchen table. Okay. So every time you want to do something related to the business, you got to bring in your laptop and all of your paperwork and everything else and set up shop at the kitchen table only to have to remove it when it's dinner time. You need a dedicated area within your home that when you are there, you're dressed for success, you're thinking positively, you're preparing for meetings, and you're sitting down at the place that's been designated to do business and make money. Again, this is all pre-framing for the brain to be prepared to generate income. Income isn't something that happens, okay? It's something that we intentionally produce. I want to make sure that's clear. Income isn't something that happens. It's something that we intentionally produce based on these concepts. Action equals growth. Now, one of the questions I get asked a lot when I'm doing podcasts and interviews and things like that, here, here's a question I get a lot. Lee, if you had to go back to 1995 and start all over again, what would you do differently? And here's my standard answer, and it has been for 20 years. I would immediately enroll in real estate school and I would get my real estate license. Well, Lee, that's not what every other guru on the planet has said. I've been told by everyone, don't get your real estate license. That's the worst thing you can do. Well, those people don't get it, okay? If you're gonna be a professional, you must possess the tools of the pros. Now the tool of the pro is access to the MLS. Another question I get asked a lot is, what's your favorite quote? My favorite quote, and I don't know who said it, so I'm gonna say I did. Don't leave your success in the hands of others. And guys, if I don't have access to the MLS personally, and I wanna write an offer on a listed property, and I have to rely on some person who believes that success in life is $60,000 a year, what's the motivation if they're on vacation or they're at their kid's school play or function or date with their spouse? Are they going to drop everything and write my offer? No. Do I expect them to? No. They're not concerned with my success as, as much as I am. So for me to be able to move fast, I need to be able to do my research, have access to the MLS, the localized comps, especially for those of you in states where that is not public record. There are several states where sale data is not public record and the only way you get access to it is through the MLS. And the only way you get MLS access is if you are a licensed realtor. But that's not the reason, that's why I would change my answer, okay? before I did anything else is for many of the things that are currently on your screen. When I become a licensed realtor and I hang my license with a company like Keller Williams, who I am with, they're worldwide, they're global. We got 1,600 offices around the world. We all utilize the same operating systems, the same lead strategies, the same CRM systems. And so when you guys get your real estate license and hang it with Keller Williams and you call my office and you have a question, I know exactly the system you're dealing with. I know which buttons you need to push. I know all of the rules within the organization because it's a franchise and it's the same quarter pounder and happy meal at every facility. So I can help you get there faster. But when you get your license and you hang it with a broker, and again, I don't want you going with a company like eXp because they're 100% virtual and that completely defeats the purpose here. The purpose of getting your license now at this stage in your career is because you get a physical office with a conference room 
the tools of the pros. You get a lobby, a waiting room. You get a receptionist where when your clients come in, they're greeted by somebody that's not on your payroll. You get internet access, you get a printer, you get marketing materials, you get business cards, you get portfolios, you get all of these tools at very, very little cost. And the only time you pay for any of these things is when you actually close a deal and make money. Now, for the record, I am not in any way, shape or form advocating licensure as a career. I'm not saying become a, a full-time real estate agent and drive strangers around in your car all day Saturday and Sunday so you can hopefully make 100 grand a year. No. Guys, I've been an agent for 21 years. I don't list properties that aren't mine and I don't buy properties or represent anyone else to buy properties other than the properties I'm buying. So the only reason I got my license 21 years ago was to facilitate my own transactions. And if you are going to do at least five deals in the next 12 months, no matter where you are in the country, when you look at the commission paid when you buy that asset and the commission paid when you sell that asset, you are going to hand out to someone other than you somewhere between 60 and $150,000 in real estate commissions to somebody else because you aren't licensed. Now again, this is not a requirement and I want, I want to be very clear here. Licensure is not required. You can go invest in real estate. You don't need a license to do that. But guys, if you want to do sizable volume, and I'm talking about $100,000 a year minimally, I have had months as an agent where I've done hundreds of thousands of dollars in commission in a month. So I'm talking millions of dollars a year in commissioned income off of the volume that you are doing just for yourself and your business and your family. So if I could go back 26 years ago and have a conversation with my 18 year old self, I would say to that guy, go get your real estate license, sign up, get into real estate school now and go hang your license at Keller Williams and go through the bold class and go through the quick start class and let them help teach you this business. Be surrounded by the pros that know what they're doing, who can mentor you and counsel you and support you through your first couple of deals as an investor.